In this calculus tutorial, I will show you guys how to find the derivative of this function h of x equals the integral going from 1 to e to the x and then here we have ln t dt So this is an integral function, the x is in here So all we have to do is just everybody's favorite fundamental theorem of calculus part 1 This is h of x, so we differentiate this with respect to x the left hand side is just h prime of x and the right hand side is pretty much the same derivative and integral cancel and all we have to do is to see right here we have a function right e to the x just go ahead and put that into the t that's all right integral and derivative cancel and substitute this in here and the number doesn't matter so just do that then you will have ln of e to the x Oh wait, there's one more thing. Don't forget the chain rule whenever we take the derivative, right? So, plug it into here and then you ask yourself, what is the derivative of the inner function, which is this run right here. Derivative of e to the x is e to the x, so you multiply by e to the x. That's it, right? The number doesn't matter. So, that's pretty much all you have, but notice ln x ln e to the x, they can cancel, so this and that cancel, so finally we'll just get x e to the x, and that will be the final answer. Do not need to put it on plus c, we are finding the derivative right here, we are not doing a definite, indefinite integral, so this is it. Alright, another example of finding the derivative of an integral function, this time we have the integral from 1 to square root of x, and then we have this, so let's go ahead and do the same thing d dx. On the left hand side, we just get h of x. But on the right hand side, derivative integral here. So that's the fundamental theorem of calculus part one. And remember the chain rule. So put this into here and here. That's all. The one doesn't matter again. So right here we have square root of x. And then raise that to the second power over this in here. So square root of x raised to the fourth power and then plus one and remember use the chain rule multiply by the derivative of square root of x which is equal to one over two square root of x like so and technically here is an invisible parenthesis so let's emphasize that by putting down here first fraction times the second one and now we can just simplify this a little bit have a look here is just x right and then times one just x over mm, let's put this down right here first so we have the two square root of x right here square root and to the fourth power this is the like same to the second power and the second power so you will just get x squared so you will have x squared here plus one All right so like that or if you would like you can also look at this as the one half power one half times four you get two for the power and then finally this and that can be reduced so let me remind you guys x over square root of x is the same as x to the one half power so this is like to the first power and that so just do one minus the power so this is x to the one minus one over two which you get x to the positive one over two so you have square root of x so this reduces out to square root of x on the top because the power here is positive. So that together give us square root of x over that two times x squared plus one. And that's it.